Wait, did you just throw a lamp? You need to learn some manners, young man. What if that was your lamp? You silly boy. Right, hello again. I am sitting down and today we're going to talk about carnage. I'm quite a big fan of carnage. I'd go as far to say as is me favourite villain. Ooh, he's my favourite. That's a big thing because... Because I feel like it. So now that's all said and done, I want to address this film. The thing is, it wasn't very good. That, was, that wasn't the surprise coming from Sony. I mean, their track record is as up and down as a umbrella in unprecedented climate circumstances. That, that that's a joke. I mean, look, you got you got Spider-Man two, and then you got Spider-Man three. You got like into the Spider Verse, and then you got Venom. You are a loser, Betty. I, I didn't have my high hopes. I didn't have my hopes high, to be more precise. And to be quite frank, I, wait, I'm not frank. But to be honest, I, I, don't, I don't think that Woody Harrelson is Carnage. I, I, and maybe that's an unpopular opinion, I don't know. I've not watched any reviews or any other videos to do with it. Yeah, so I don't know what the, the reception to Carnage is. And, and I don't think the, the, uh, the computer effect version of Carnage, which is not Woody Harrelson, because that's not possible. They do that with computers. That, that version is, um, is particularly, um, is particularly bad too. Let me take you back to around 2000, 2001 or 2000 and two maybe i don't know probably before that because there was a game spider-man and it was it was great since i was a small child at this time i was a pathetic gamer i was one of those kids that would be like oh mom mom i'm stuck and she comes in and she does it but point me you get towards the end and in this game um, for budget reasons, the villains have emitted a gas. Well, the, the motivation wasn't budget reasons. Um, uh, uh, maybe it is. I, 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 I don't remember. I haven't played it in a while. But I'm pretty sure it was for... You don't want Spider-Man on the ground because they'd, they'd have to, you know, they'd have to actually um, do animate people and cars and stuff. And that's hard, especially when you it's old hardware. See, I, I, I'm smart. I understand how games work. I can't play them. Anyway, you get towards the end of the game and you you know big uh, octopus, not big octopus, Dr. Oct I'm a Spider-Man fan. Dr. Octopus um, is the main villain behind and then stood next to him is a red one. That is a red one. Oh, sorry, that's a, that's a terrible joke. So this was my introduction to Carnage and... Um, well, it was bloody terrifying. Bring it on! His voice that he had, he was, I mean, he was so different to Venom. He was like, it was, you know, it wasn't just a... It's a red one! It was a whole different character with different motivations. And his voice, wow! I mean, I'll play it. Um, I will link the YouTube videos that I've used. I can't record this stuff, so I will. I will link that. Here I come! Oh, the pain! Oh, the pain! I stop! Make it stop! Stop! Make it stop! Spider-Man! <laughs> yeah! Come here! 
Come here! So yeah, the, the, his voice is terrifying. So then you fight him and he's and he's screaming and laughing and or whatever and climbing up the walls and then you f defeat him and and that took a while and I'm pretty sure I didn't. My mum did. Can you can you imagine if um like Peter? We well, can you imagine if Peter Parker I had a mum and then can you imagine if like Peter Parker is fighting a villain and oh, I can't do it. Mum, mum, help me. Help me, it's too hard. Peter, Peter, what have I told you? I'm, I'm your mother. Mum, help me. No, I've told you, I'm making dinner. Mum, I'm not coming up there. Please. Right, fine. And, and then his mum gets killed. Sorry, uh, sorry, got a bit distracted there. Right, so my mum then g killed Carnage. spider like, I did it, I did it, I did it, right? And then the red stuff sli slips down in, into, the into the bottom section. And then it kicks off. It proper kicks off. The Carnage symbiote merges with Dr. Ock and it becomes Monster Ock. Mum, no. <laughs> well, no, that's, no, actually, uh, she's still here because you have to run away. You have to run away because the game is like, yeah, this is how bad this is. You're not even going to fight this. But yeah, this is how the game ends. And that was that was my introduction to Carnage. And I was like, wow, this this is my favorite villain. Then I'd come across the cartoons. You know, the story that they do in the 90s animated cartoon that I didn't watch in the 90s but it was from the 90s so there's this bloke called Baron Mordo and he's mates with Dormammu from you know Doctor Strange well anyway they want to bring Venom back so that he wait sorry they sorry got wrong pronoun so that they can steal an interdimensional machine Right, but at the same time, Cletus Cassidy has been arrested and he's in the cell next to Eddie Brock. So when Eddie's been broken out and he's given back his Venom suit, Cletus hears this and he's like, I, w I want some of that. I want one. Can I have one? Excuse me. Anyway, right, he done. Not yet, anyway. So when Mordo notices that Venom has is is not doing a great job because Spider-Man's there and War Machine is there, he's he's like watching them and he's hiding behind a chair. And I, I I'm I'm watching this and I'm like, tell me if I'm wrong here and I'm I'm missing a crucial plot point. But isn't he, isn't he like a really powerful sorcerer man, right? And instead of going to help. He's like hiding behind a... No, he's not like. He is hiding behind a chair and going, Oh, uh, Dormammu, um, it's not going very well. Uh, what do we do? We'll do something then. Why don't you go do something? No, no, I don't want to. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. So, so he's too scared. So he's like, well, guess guess what? Venom, Venom's reproduced. And he's got a kid. Yes, yes, we recall replicating. Nice. So he brings the new symbiote to Cletus and he breaks out. And he goes to take down War Machine and Spider-Man to retrieve the interdimensional machine. And then, and then Venom turns on him. Um, because he attacks uh, someone called Ashley, which is a lady he likes. And... Um, Carnage then takes the machine to Dormammu and Spider-Man has to team up with Venom to defeat Carnage. Reason why I got I, I just rambled on about this show is because what they, what they do quite well is develop Carnage in relation to Venom uh, to add stakes to the story. If you look at the cartoon, it's like this um He's like this psychopath. We're gonna wreak glorious carnage throughout the land. Carnage! <laughs> and then you've got like the voice that haunted my dreams. Does it hurt? And, and Woody Harrelson's got this really kind of slow, deep, 
voice. Could never look at you again after you killed his wife, your mother, just by being. Let there be and so he just didn't feel like the character. Now I feel like he did what he could, and he did come across as like a bit of a psychopath, a little bit, of, or you know, like yeah, he probably killed people, yeah, but not in the not in the creepy way that that is carnage to me so i just didn't think woody Howson was right and i just i just think it sums up the attitude of sony it was like well well we we just we just want people to come and watch the film and for us to make loads and loads of money so we put his name on it because the the flashback at the start the um the the younger version of Carnage. Now I, I liked him. I don't know who he was, but I guess that, that's a good thing. That's, that's a, good a good thing. thing. <laughs> that is a good thing because I, I don't I don't see the actor. Whereas you can't not see Woody Harrelson. I'm just watching Woody Harrelson become Carnage, not Cletus Cassidy. So that that is a shame. I, I don't think it should have been Woody Harrelson. I think it should have been that bloke at the start, or, or someone else. So I I I just don't think we're gonna get a good on-screen Carnage. I just don't think it's gonna happen. And the problem is, with Carnage, you've got to build up the stakes. Now I'm sick of these. Silly Venom films, they're just complete cash grabs from Sony. You can't have Venom without Spider-Man. It doesn't work. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work. Part of why this character works is its relationship with Spider-Man. And part of why Carnage works is the build-up of that dynamic. It's the combat and the difficulty Spider-Man has to overcome with the suit with fighting Venom and then having to overcome that to team up to take down Carnage. We're not going to get it because one, you can't do Venom first because you have to build up to that. Now, I can, I can see a situation where these Tom Holland films are done and we do like a DC kind of thing where we get a one-off Spider-Man film and it's just straight up Spider-Man, straight into Venom. A bit like the Web of Shadows game did. But mostly, you can't get away with, with Venom straight away. And we're not going to get Venom in the MCU Spider-Man because of these films. And if we do, it's going to be a multiverse of madness and... I, that's all I'm saying on that. The problem that the Venom films, the problem they have is that in the first one, Venom fights another symbiote, which one of the effects Carnage has is, especially in the cartoon, is when it's like, oh, there's another one. That's like a big deal because Spider-Man's just dealt with Venom. He's like, that were hard enough. And now there's another one. But in this, it's like, one, you've not got a Spider-Man. And two, it's nothing new. We've already seen. We've already seen another symbiote. This is just another. And Carnage can't just be another. If you're going to do all these other ones, they have to come after Carnage after you've established that. Um, and uh, and they're not. that's not going to happen. I just don't think that's going to happen. And if it is, it's going to be in like 30 years when I'm a middle-aged man and I should have grown up. So, so yeah, um, Carnage is bad. Carnage is bad. Um, I didn't like it. I don't like. I don't like these Venom films. And I, and I don't have any friends. <laughs>